It's no surprise I enjoy Elgato's products. I'm using a 4K capture card right now that allows me to use this photography style camera as a webcam. I've got the ring light and their key light air illuminating my face. And yes, that is controlled with the stream deck. I even have their strip lights over there for ambient lighting behind my desk. If I was using a USB microphone versus taking the XLR route, I'd be using the Wave 3 mic because it's a direct competitor to the Go XLR. And it really is no surprise that Elgato's key demographic is indeed streamers and online content creators. What is surprising is, well, July 15th, they dropped nine products and hardly anybody knows about it because it wasn't very well publicized. There was an online event, but you probably didn't see any commercials on TV or anything like that. I actually found out about this from my buddy Harris Heller. So let's go ahead and get this thing. Already stallions and stallionettes. I might not really know Harris Heller in real life. Well, what I do know is quality products, and that's exactly what Elgato delivers. So over here, I will have this video linked in the description below. This was their this was their event that happened July 15th, introducing nine new products. But look, only 27,000 views. So in essence, only 27, well, let's round up, 28,000 people actually know about these products. So the purpose of this video, I'm going to quickly showcase or preview the nine products and kind of give my thoughts as to what's a little bit gimmicky and really not worth the upgrade from existing products, and what is kind of a game changer? Move this mic a little bit closer to my suck hole. There we go. So first of all, we have the Stream Deck Mark II. Now this might be a viable upgrade or option if you are coming from the Stream Deck, just the 15 key Stream Deck. If you have a Stream Deck XL, uh, like I do here, the 32 key version, this isn't really a huge upgrade as that already has a detachable magnetic stand and USB-C uh, modular removable cable. What you're getting with the Mark II Stream Deck versus the original is three main features. Is a detachable faceplate that snaps on and off. By the way, they also have a detachable faceplate on their new USB audio interface for XLR microphones, kind of a direct competitor to the Go XLR. So if you have this, the new Stream Deck Mark II right next to their new audio interface, you can snap off the face plates and get them custom made with your logo for your brand or just a cool design. So that's kind of nice. Other than that, you have a detachable stand again that already exists on the Stream Deck XL and uses a versatile and standardized USB-C port. Already have that on the XL. So if you have the standard 15 key Stream Deck or you have the Stream Deck Mini, this might be worth the upgrade if you're if you are a current XL owner. Uh, I, I, I don't really foresee this being worth the upgrade. Now, this is huge news over here. In fact, this might be actually the biggest product that they have released, and that is the Elgato face cam. So in my opinion, this is a direct competitor to the Razer webcam that I reviewed here on the channel recently. I'm, of course, talking about the Kyo Pro, which gets very close, kind of nipping on the heels of photography and videography style cameras like the Sony A5100 over here. However, I will say expensive webcams are kind of a mixed bag for me because if you're already spending $200 on a webcam, which, by the way, is what the Kyo Pro cost and that is what this new Elgato face cam is also going for. Um, you can actually go onto the used market on Craigslist, Facebook Marketplace, or eBay and pick yourself up a Sony A5100 or comparable that gives you a clean HDMI out and uses swappable glass or lenses and you're going to get a much better experience not to mention it's modular you can change the lenses and you get a lot more customized customizability of the picture quality out of an actual photography style camera. But if you decide you want to go the webcam route because of its ease of use, it's plug and playness being, you know, USB and whatnot, um, then, you know, this is a good option for you. I do feel like this is a direct competitor again to the Kyo Pro as they both are $200, very high end webcams, and you can adjust things like exposure manually, which is pretty sick. I most likely will be getting the face cam on the channel for a direct comparison to the Kyo Pro, which I have already reviewed. Now, next up, the Elgato Wave XLR. Now, this is basically a direct competitor to the Go XLR, uh, which I am using right here. Of course, you're not getting four physical faders and a bunch of knobs and dials and whatnot, but what this does do is integrates their software suite that you do get with the Wave 3 microphone which basically lets you control independently several audio sources, not only what you hear in your cans, in your earphones, but also what your uh, your chat sees, your viewership on your streams or YouTube videos. So that is really cool. You basically have one large dial, but by pu pushing it in or clicking it in, you're able to adjust different audio sources, just one XLR input. But basically this gives the capability of any XLR microphone you plug into it, um, as their Wave 3 USB microphone, which has that awesome software suite. So that is an awesome option. Again, most likely we'll be getting that in the Gamer Heaven in the near future. Now, they also released 
two boom arms. You've got the wave mic arm and then the wave mic arm LP, which stands for low profile. Now, now these boom arms are incredibly premium looking and they are direct competitors to something like the blue compass, which by the way, is what I'm currently using right now. Basically hides my XLR cable, really sleek design. Also the Gator frameworks, which I have reviewed on this channel and has a very similar, sim similar, similar tubular design to hide your XLR cables. In fact, the uh, Gator frameworks actually comes with an XLR cable built inside of the the boom arm, which can be kind of a bad thing if the cable fails. Uh, but these are direct competitors to that, i.e. very sleek, very clean, very premium looking. They look a little bit more beautiful and flashy than something like a Rode PSA, which is, uh, you know, a traditional looking boom arm, kind of oogly. And the main difference here is that the LP or low profile basically clamps very low in your desk so you can swivel it underneath your monitor, which I think is really awesome that you can have a setup where you're a little bit tight for space and you're still able to get yourself a very nice looking boom arm. Um, and also it does have magnetized plates on the top for cable management where you can tuck away your XLR cables. Now, Harris did mention that those magnets could use a little bit more grab or strength as he was accidentally popping them off when he was adjusting the boom arm. So something to keep in mind, but I will say that the regular wave arm looks a little bit thick and bulky, and that might take up some of your peripheral vision when you're gaming and also be a little bit too predominant on screen when you're streaming. Um, but I think the low profile is an awesome boom arm because again, it clamps low underneath your monitor and has those magnetic plates for hiding your XLR cables. Next up, they have this multi accessory mount here, which basically you can mount any accessory under the sun, but instead of a desk mount, like what they currently have, this is now a wall mount. So if you're not afraid to drill into your wall a little bit, you are gonna be able to mount things like your key light, key light air, um, a mirrorless or DSLR photography style camera, even your cell phone. And it does have a maximum weight capacity of 3.5 pounds. That is most likely if you are either anchored into drywall or screwed into a stud. I mean, the main studs right here, am I right? <laughs> Um, but the great application I can see for this is basically showcased in this picture right here. Basically, somebody's shooting a little food tutorial, a cooking tutorial, and this is directly over them. So I might actually pick up one of these for um, my little unboxing station here. So when I'm shooting unboxing videos, I have a perfect bird's eye overhead view of the product I'm unboxing. The next one, and I'm pretty excited about this, I actually mentioned during my review of this product that they, they simply needed to have this product available, this extension kit, and that is for their LED light strips, which are, of course, you know, RGB LED illumination strips to add a little bit of ambience to your room. And, you know, for the price of $60, you really don't get a whole heck of a lot of coverage. And these are very high quality lights. They do not flicker on camera whatsoever, which is really awesome. They are incredibly bright. And most importantly, they do integrate with your stream deck so you can control your lighting of your room just from your control station. But now they do have an extension kit that you can plug into your existing Elgato strip lights, and that will extend the uh, length of your lights, your coverage by about two meters, which is about 6.7 feet. The next one is they now have blue sound panels as opposed to just the black. So not a huge uh, product release or anything like that. But hey, if you got a blue setup, you now have blue foam uh, sound insulation in addition to the black Elgato pads. The next one is actually a software program on their website that basically it, it's a virtual studio. It allows you to have a virtual environment of your room. That little Xbox Series X over there. Um, and you are able to add and remove some of their products to see what they would look like in your setup, which is pretty gosh darn cool. So let's go ahead and throw a stream deck in there. Okay, let's drag it onto the desk. Uh, we need some lighting, right? Let's put a ring light over there. Yep. Change the color of our strip lights. Oh, that's cool. How do I rotate you, buddy? So pretty cool to play around with. Just a little 3D version of your setup that you can... Uh, drag and drop stuff around. Pretty cool. So overall, a pretty huge lineup or drop of new products from Elgato 9 to be exact in one day. And again, like I said, a lot of people don't even know that these products were released because it was kind of hush hush. So the products that I am personally excited about and will be uh, utilizing in my setup in the very near future would be the extension kit for the uh, light strips. I think that is crucial, critical. I mean, I mentioned during my review, like I said, that, that they need to have that. I think both the boom arms are pretty nice, but me personally, the low profile might be my solution for getting up underneath my monitor. And, uh, you know, I'm always looking for a replacement for the compass over here. I also do think that their new XLR audio interface is really awesome because it turns any XLR microphone into their Wave 3 USB mic with that awesome software suite. 
which will give you a whole hell of a lot of control over your stream. I'm also excited to test out their new face cam webcam. Obviously, that's not going to be a replacement for my Sony A5100, but for people that don't want to spend, you know, $100 for an Elgato cam link uh, adapter and then another, you know, four to $500 for a photography style mirrorless or DSLR camera and just want to spend, you know, $200 plus tax for the USB webcam or they prefer to use a webcam because of its plug and play ease of use, that'd be a great option to compete directly uh, head to head, head to head, tip to tits with the Kyle Pro. And as for the Stream Deck Mark II, I just don't really see it as a huge upgrade from the XL because the two main features that they added are already on the Stream Deck XL and have been since launch. So if you are coming from the traditional Stream Deck though, and you want a nicer removable magnetized uh, stand, as well as a, you know, modular replaceable USB-C port, that that's a good option for you. That is going to do it, guys. If you enjoyed the video, liking it helps it to get seen by more people. So this information will reach and assist them as well, which is kind of what we're trying to do here is get these Elgato products out there in the wild. I'm not sponsored by them. I don't get kicked back a single dime. Uh, I'm just trying to get this out there because I know a lot of streamers and content creators could benefit from these new products. Now, linked in the description below are the Elgato products that I currently own and stand behind. Subscribe for more content like this. I cover a ton of news in the gaming community and industry, as well as tutorials helping you get set up streaming and YouTubing. I'll see you guys in the next video, which will be tomorrow because I upload daily. Peace.